welcome to the latest update program the topic of discussion is discovery of 23 million year old mangrove forest researchers have rediscovered a 23 million year old mangrove forest that was swept away by a massive volcanic eruption the rediscovery was made by the scientists at the smithsonian tropical research institute who found the fossilized remains of trees on the barro colorado island these ancient remains reveal a lot about the foregone forest but the study is still in its incipient stage but how did such a huge mangrove forest originate in ancient times as per the scientists this old mangrove forest would have originated in the early miocene epoch which existed about 23 million years ago the great land masses of south america and the caribbean plate collided with each other forming the landscape of panama and the rest of central america around its edges grew a mangrove forest whose trees rose as high as 130 feet into the air let us now know about mangroves Mangroves are salt-tolerant trees and shrubs typical of estuarine and intertidal regions. They grow in areas where fresh water and salt water meet. Mangroves typically have aerial breathing roots and waxy succulent leaves and are flowering plants. The Sundarbans is spread across India and Bangladesh is the largest contiguous mangrove forest in the world. According to the State of Forest Report 2021, India has about 3% of the total mangrove cover in South Asia. The total mangrove cover in India is 4975 square kilometer that is 0.15% of the country's total geographical area. In 2022, Pichavaram mangroves were given the status of Ramsar site that is Ramsar wetlands of international importance. In India, initiatives and schemes such as the Mangrove Initiative for Shoreline Habitats and Tangible Incomes that is MISHTI, Amrit Dharohar etc. aim to increase mangrove reforestation and afforestation along the coastal districts of india now is the time to test your knowledge the question is what is unique about the mangroves in terms of their ecological adaptation your options are they grow in deep ocean waters they are salt tolerant and thrive in estuarine regions they only grow in cold climates they are a type of aquatic algae send the answer to this question in the comment section like share and subscribe for more such content